for my degrees uh, in Albania proper, which is of course extremely important for finding uh, uh, out some of the issues of the uh, unemployment. It goes also further. The research area uh, is uh, one of the activities that we are doing. So one, our uh, each and every of the economies of the six is very small uh, uh, research areas, but six together creates a better position for researching and even producing the results of those uh, uh, of those research. The third important element is digital. Uh, we are the most known because of the roaming free agreement. I'm sure that you are aware of this one. That means that wherever you are in the region, if you have the mobile phone number from any of the national operator, you will not going to have the roaming fee, which is extremely important for uh, mobility, for exchange programs, uh, even for, of course, uh, uh, business people. Uh, establishing businesses all uh, all around uh, uh, all around the region. Um, digital is one of the aspects that we are putting the emphasis in because um, putting the emphasis on the digital skills is uh, one of upgrading, of course, the digital skills is one of the uh, most important things, and especially the. The, the way that we are discussing now proved to be um, that the digital is uh, gaining the importance uh, uh, and the uh, possibilities. Um, so um, to cut the long story short, uh, in order, of course, to have enough time to discuss, not only to listen uh, uh, to, listen to us. Um, Young people here in the region, again, according to the uh, Balkan barometer, uh, are the one that are uh, promoters of the European values. 70% of young people, uh, that means age 18 to 24, are pro-EU membership of the region. Not because only uh, they see the possibility to move freely or uh, for a better life, better wages, but because of the values. And that is something that uh, uh, for me, um, idealistic one, uh, uh, really counting of uh, the importance of values in life, uh, means really a lot. But also for the, the state administrations, government, it's very difficult to work with the governments, as you can imagine. If you ever had a chance to de deal with them, you have to provide them uh, a very strong uh, argument. Uh, and we are trying to do that, saying that actually the common a regional market one step towards the membership to the European Union, so our own market towards the common European market, uh, will add 2.5% of the GDP to our cumulatively, that means for the uh, Western Balkan, which is not a small amount uh, of money. That is extremely important. Um, uh, but uh, Without, uh, uh, without uh, young people, uh, and if those two million, if you among those two million leave the region, as we said, as we started uh, <clears throat> this discussion, that will actually uh, ruin uh, all the ideas uh, for the development of the region. And that is so obvious that nobody can explain further, uh, uh, further to you. Um, that is why we are here today to discuss with you, and not only today, but uh, to discuss with you very openly and frankly, um, what do you see as the huge or major problems or impediments 
uh, for you living in the region. And most, uh, more importantly, how we can help in that respect, having in mind that we are trying to do something, um, being an educator or being somebody who is doing things operationally on the daily basis, how we can help trend to uh, turn in terms of uh, providing a positive impetus uh, for the development of all of us, uh, region, but equally each and every of uh, you. Uh, thank you very much. I am uh, ready, of course, for the comments, uh, uh, questions, and uh, the dialogue. Bashkim, please un unmute. Uh, thank you very much, Professor Mishevich. I would like to, to thank you because it was very clarifying and very giving a, a clear and, uh, and uh, uh, complete uh, picture of, uh, of uh, the region uh, with respect of uh, the EU situation. Uh, there was something that uh, you mentioned and also Professor Stiegs mentioned uh, the uh, problem, the phenomenon of the brain draining of youth from the region. This would be the, the, uh, the topic of the next uh, uh, session of discussion uh, of uh, uh, Bridge Forum. Uh, so in, uh, with your intervention, you both highlighted this, uh, the fact that this, uh, the, the, the set, that our topics are related one with the other. And this is also good for, for our project as a whole. Uh, now, one thing I would uh, uh, ask to uh, question to Professor Mishevich, uh, but first, no, let's, uh, let, uh, uh, let, let's, uh, let us listen to a question from, from uh, uh, Ergisa Hassan Beliu. She has a question for, for uh, Professor Mishevich, please. Uh, hello, everyone. Uh, first of all, thank you, Mr. Igor and Ms. Tanya, for taking your time to share with us your experience and uh, your journey uh, related with youth and economy. Uh, I really found very powerful uh, the expression that Ms. Tanya said before, that we are not the future, we are the present. And uh, we are always taught, uh, I'm talking for Albanian reality, that we are the future somehow in our subconscious. We feel like our actions will, will be marks in the future, so we don't take a lot of actions in the present. Uh, so, uh, in this perspective, from the practical point of view, I would uh, ask for your recommendations from experience in your countries. How may uh, youngsters and youth of Tirana and Albania collaborate more with uh, governmental bodies in creating policies which uh, involve uh, and uh, make us feel more uh, um, like engaged and affected from the policies created? May I? Uh, thank you very much, uh, Ergisa, to pick up on the, on something which really may sound as a, a, um, a type of uh, uh, a sentence that we are saying just for saying, but I strongly believe in this. For me, young people are actually um, have the values uh, today. Whatever you are doing today, uh, even learning today, will bring the fruits. Uh, not only in future, but also uh, also today. You are coming from you are coming from Tirana, which is the capital, youth capital, extremely powerful and uh, um, message that uh, we are very proud to have in the region. Uh, this is the first time that some of the capitals in the region is the youth capital. Why is that? It's not only because uh, Albanian population is the youngest in the uh, region or even in the Europe, but because they see also the potential, um, how you can uh, uh, help. In that respect, I'm not saying uh, uh, when saying uh, participating in policy, I'm not saying participating in politics. Uh, that means not being a member of the political parties, which is, of course, your, uh, uh, your choice, everybody is choosing. But uh, participating in policy means something else. 
um, that means that you are um, organized uh, either into student parliaments at the university or the youth council, the youth association in your town or in your country in order to help uh, to give the strength to your association to have a voice when things are developing. Only with this strength and with that voice, you can do, uh, uh, you can do a lot. Um, what are the issues? 